Those Red Sox can't seem to get off the ground lately. Grant's here with all the highlights, or maybe we should say lowlights. Mm -hmm. Grant? Yes, well, that's right, T. Things haven't been looking too well for the Red Sox, and last night's game only added to the misery. The Toronto Blue Jays pounded the Red Sox 12-0. Roy Halladay of the Blue Jays pitched a three-hitter for his second consecutive shutout with Toronto, getting four home runs against Boston. This is the sixth straight loss for the Red Sox. Boston also lost to the Blue Jays 8-7 the night before. In the National League roundup, the Philadelphia Phillies beat the Houston Astros 10-3 last night in Citizens Bank Park, making this, game, making this game the Phillies' third straight National League East crown. This is also a significant game for the Phillies, which have only won one world championship before last season. With last night's win over the Astros, they now only need to concentrate on defending that title. Turning to the ice now, the, boss, the Bruins open tonight against the Washington Capitals. Faced off is at 7 p.m. at the TD Garden. Speaking of hockey, the BU men's hockey team was ranked third in a USA Today USA Hockey Magazine poll. The team goes up against St. Francis Xavier this Saturday at the Aganis Arena. But while the hockey team seems to get all the attention here at BU, there's another team vying for your attention, the men's soccer team. We paid the team a visit during one of the practices. Take a look. With the fall semester in full swing now, the men's soccer team continues gearing up their equipment to make a big splash this season, maybe even a bigger splash than usual. That's because BU is such a big hockey school and many of its other sports get overlooked. Coach Neil Roberts says he would like to increase the soccer fan base and he even believes that there is an advantage here for recruiting prospective students. Obviously when recruits come in and, and people see that on TV that they it's a place that we know Boston and Boston University is a place a lot of kids want to come to school. So we're hoping to build a soccer environment and atmosphere, you know, somewhat like hockey has and, and that will attract kids to, to want to play here. As you can see from where we are standing, the team is striving hard to make their mark on the field. Earlier this month, they even signed a deal with the Fox Soccer Channel to televise a match against Boston College. But, according to the Daily Free Press, there's little statistical evidence that shows the team bears the competitive weight to pull in a large fan base. Still, we caught up with the team and they still seemed optimistic about the season. I think we have a good season. I mean, so far it's almost half over. I think that, um, you know, we, we, again, we, we want to be one of the you know top teams in the country. We're on our way to that. We're not there yet. but. We, we feel by the end of the season we'll, we'll be there. Going pretty well so far. Um, before the season, if we, we were given 5-2-1 at this point, I'd take it. Hopefully, it will continue to go well. With the Terriers' positive outlook so far, perhaps they just will move up in the ranks by the end of the season. And it's for the students. The whole, you know, the athletic department is about the students and, and giving them, a, a, you know, a, some, something to do on, on, on weeknights and weekend nights and, and to be part of a university. and the team is on a good run. They tied Brown University last night 3-3 and beat the University of Rhode Island 2-1 on Saturday. That does it for sports. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Grant. And wouldn't you like to be at show and tell when a five-year-old Texan displays the 800-pound alligator he comes